Hello guys, I am Ayan and welcome to the JN Academy. Today I am going to discuss about heat balancing and mass balancing equation. So let's go. Now see the heat balancing and mass balancing equation. First of all, we see the total summary of the evaporator. Okay, see this. heat balancing and mass balancing equation now see the total summary of evaporator okay so in case of evaporator this is the feed inlet this is the steam inlet this is vapor outlet this is the condensed outlet and most important things this is the concentrated product collected feed and steam is introduced in the evaporator feed consume heat by consuming heat feed undergo evaporation and form vapor this vapor is come out through the vapor outlet and the concentrated product is collected from the bottom part of the evaporator simultaneously steam losses its heat energy and undergo condensation and this condensate come out through the condensate outlet this is the total summary of every evaporator okay now for heat balancing and mass balancing first of all you have to know what is the balancing here balancing means something has input and something has output this input equal to output this is the balancing okay so here we balance feed input and steam input with vapor condensate and concentrated product output okay so let's go and before this consider h equal to heat as enthalpy present in every substances okay okay and unit of this is joule per kg remember this okay now considered that f kg feed is introduced s kg steam is introduced v kg vapor is produced c kg condensate is produced l kg product is collected now consider also that feed contain enthalpy as hf this amount of heat obviously present in per kg when you consider total heat present in the feed then multiply f and h okay then you can get the total heat but here we consider hf is the enthalpy present per kg same things okay now balance the equation in balancing equation we can write that heat entering equal to heat leaving okay and then in voice you have to write this heat in feed plus heat in stream equal to heat in vapor heat in condensate and heat in product just i skip this but you have to write in exam paper okay just i symbolize here that hf plus hs this is the heat entering equal to hv plus hc plus hl okay and see this this hf this hs and every parameter here are present in per kgs okay but we introduced f kg speed s kg steam and we gain v kg vapor c kg condensate and l kg product if you consider total amount of input and total amount of output you have to write such like that Easier. okay so this equation considered as heat balancing equation understand this is the heat balancing equation now see the mass balancing equation
okay one thing you have to understand that in case of heat balancing feed contain heat stream also contain heat condensate also contains some energy as heat product also contains some energy as heat vapor also contain heat as energy in case of mass balancing equation just as a mass we only introduced feed as a mass and this feed is converted into two product vapor and concentrated product okay so here steam is not introduced as a mass remember this here steam is introduced as a heat source okay and condensate is the outcome of this steam so when we not consider steam as mass so also condensate is not considerable okay now see the mass balancing equation mass entering equal to mass output okay in voice you have to write that mass in feed equal to mass in vapor and mass in product okay so write this just i skip that line but you have to write in exam paper okay just i symbolize here so see this okay so this is the mass balancing equation now more elaborately if you consider mass as a solid content then you can symbolize like that x f amount solid present in feed same things x v amount of solid present in vapor and x l amount solid present in concentrated product and this every parameter are present in per kg okay now you can rewrite this as okay but one thing see this this x v actually you know the vapor contain negligible amount of solid so you can ignore this x v and this x v tends to zero so you can also omit this so you can write this equation as okay so this is the mass balancing equation but when you write in case of exam paper you have to mention everything why you omit this after this this equation is formed and this is the final equation of mass balancing equation okay i hope you understand both heat balancing and mass balancing equation now now see the general equation for the heat transfer so see this okay equation for heat transfer you know evaporator actually act as heat exchanger as it act as a heat exchanger so here heat transfer occurs and this heat transfer also maintain a equation that is q equal to u a del t okay this q equal to rate of heat transfer u equal to overall heat transfer coefficient a equal to heating surface area and del t equal to temperature difference boiling feed and steam okay and about this del t i also discuss in case of multiple effect evaporator you can see this and you can easily understand what is the del t just remember this it has importance in case of when we solve the numerical problem okay so guys i hope you understand if you have any problem then comment in comment section and if you understand please like share and don't forget to subscribe so let's go